Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Zenfin Network, aka XDC. And with that being said, let's just dive on in and let's start off with a few things. So, one, we have started to see the ecosystem on Zenfin expanding rapidly. This is incredible to see. Listen, at a time where we were heavily focused on trade finance, which by the way might come up in this video, um we also looked at the ecosystem the ecosystem behind a lot of these networks really is crucial to mention especially around value creation for the token we just recently seen zinfin announce wefi is bringing DeFi to the xdc network this is big and it urges the community to join the wefi testnet campaign now they do mention a few things around this but we also do see that WeFi has announced the launch of WeFi Beta DAP on the XDC testnet network, a Pothum network with lightning fast transactions, a low latency and advanced security. And of course, here we have the announcement from WeFi themselves, which was originally Paxo Finance, but they recently rebranded it. But either way, this is a big, big announcement because DeFi on Zinfin is something that we have been missing. Um, I think that this is absolutely incredible. And guess what? WeFi is actually insured which we will go over here in a second but first let's go over the full-on announcement back here in april of this year where we did see paxo finance rebrand to wefi and it geared up for its first product release now why is this so damn significant well because not only is it a DeFi infrastructure but it's also the fact that they have a ton of users behind them this was back in like i said april so it probably has either grown or decreased slightly but they have a community of over 70,000 DeFi users and 27,000 users in their incentivized testnet program so that's huge so they are already bringing thousands tens of thousands of users over to xdc i think that this is incredible and also we do see a few things regarding um you know what they are offering here they are offering a leverage investment vault which is better alternative to margin trade since it allows users to earn passive income by staking and farming with their leverage position and then down here we just see an about section on wefi but i don't want to go off of that one i actually want to go off of this one over here because this gives us a little bit more of an in-depth view on what wefi is this is the official announcement over on xdc.dev uh, with wefi and xdc network coming together for this ODC an insured omnichannel perpetual uh, leverage trading protocol built on layer zero for traders and investors wefi provides leverage at 80 percent lower interest and for lenders wefi offers competitively higher apy as well and again yes they are insured so this is actually a pretty big step in the right direction around DeFi. um but we do see we are thrilled to announce the launch of wefi beta dap on the xdc testnet uh testnet network Apothem network due to its impressive scalability high performance and seamless interoperability with other blockchains the xdc chain offers fast transaction speeds low latency and advanced security features additionally the vibrant xdc community provides valuable feedback enhancing the development of our dap and if we scroll down we can actually see a few screenshots regarding the actual platform so this is yes in beta still but this gives us a little bit of an in-depth view on what it will actually look like which i think that this is great i think that this is very professional looking i think that's very clean we also see on the left side you can see the lend earn leverage vault portfolio swap bridge and you can see everything on the screen in terms of the tvl uh the tvv or the sorry ttv um and then also the tbv and if we go back we could actually scroll down and we could see the actual networks here again yes wefi does have um exposure to polygon as well and a few other players uh within the actual upcoming networks for example they will be working with base ethereum bnb arbitrum um and so many other ones including of course yes xdc but yeah i think that this is incredible i think that this is great for zinfin simply because we actually lack a lot of DeFi offering on Zenfin. Um, but also I think that this is great simply because when we look at WeFi, we know that they are insured. We do see why WeFi over other leverage trading platforms. Our successful audit and insurance ensures your assets are safer than ever. Now of course I still, no matter if it says that hey we're insured, we're this, we're whatever, I don't care. Um, I'm still very 
very vigilant about providing any tokens because the second that you go onto a DeFi protocol and you are giving them your coins in order for you to receive X amount of APY, the second you make that transaction, those coins are out of your possession. So even if they are insured, I still, I'm still very, very careful. Um, I always make sure that I'm not putting in a ton that I can't afford to lose. Make sure that you know the risk whenever you are working with any DeFi protocol. Because again, I, I see so many people make this mistake when they're utilizing DeFi uh, protocols. But again, this is still in beta, so it's not fully announced just yet and live. Um, but I still think that this is incredible. I think that this is great for the Zenfin network because DeFi is a huge area of opportunity around the space. And it really just kind of solidifies where Zenfin is really kind of headed. Now, beyond this, we also seen a major announcement from X Spectre because we do see the XDC network upgrade. Now you can buy land with XDC. And we also see limited land. They already have it um, here as well. I think that this is incredible as well because we already know that Metablocks is kind of dead. Um, I've actually talked about this a little bit, um, but we, have, we haven't seen any major announcement since uh, 2022 regarding Metablocks. And this was one that I was actually anticipating simply because of the graphics behind it. I thought that this looked incredible. I thought that it looked great. Um, and again, I thought we were going to see something very interesting here uh, regarding the metaverse on Zinfin, but we haven't seen any major update from the team um, or any information on their social media platforms at all. So it does suck to see. But now with Xpector, I think that this is going to be a very exciting one because they have been building solid for the last couple of years. Um, on the XRP ledger and they have been looking to expand recently and what better way to do it than through XDC and we already know that the artwork behind X Spectre is incredible I absolutely love this project and I'm not paid or anything like that by X Spectre they don't even know me I don't think I know that they follow me um, but they haven't reached out or anything like that but I personally think that their overall um, artwork is very very incredible uh, versus what we've seen around this space. I think that this is some of the best artwork for a metaverse um, that we've seen yet. And I'm very excited about this being on the Zinfin network as well as many other networks within the space. Again, cross networks, cross chain in general is the way of the future. So I think that this is great that we are starting to see some of these great projects like X Spectre really kind of blossom out beyond, you know, their original uh, chain of choice. But outside of this, we also seen another huge announcement from Zinfin um, building upon the infrastructure with Anchor. Anchor, a prominent player in blockchain infrastructure solutions, has announced a partnership with the XDC network. The collaboration involves integrating the XDC network into Anchor's remote procedure call RPC service, making it easier for developers to harness the full potential of the XDC network. The partnership simplifies the development process by removing the need for individual XDC node management, and it empowers developers with resources to build feature-rich applications. Again, this is what it's all about. This is huge. These collaborations are crucial to focus on. And we actually see that this is centered out on simplifying DAP development and trade finance. And within this, we actually see the inter this integration is poised to revolutionize the way developers build decentralized applications with a particular focus on trade finance and real world asset tokenization use cases. I think that this is awesome to see. And we do see continuous development of both protocol and application layers are an integral part of a growing and vibrant blockchain network. The XDC network integration with Anchor is an example of our ongoing effort to support developers with fundamental tools and services necessary for ease in building applications and accessing block uh, data with world class speed and efficiency. In recent development, Securitize, a pioneer in digital securities, also declared its support for the XDC network. And the U.S. Treasury Yield Token, the USTY token based on the XDC network, is designed to provide cost-effective access to the yield generated by an institutionally managed U.S. Treasury ETF, illustrating the XDC network's real-world asset tokenization capabilities. And yes, you guys did not know, Securitize is a massive player in this space. Um, it's a company that gets overlooked quite a bit, but they are a significant player. And I'd love to see them actually choosing XDC network for um, their tokenization use cases. And again, this really kind of just solidifies where Zinfin is headed in this space and who Zinfin actually are. Um, but beyond that, we do see unlocking new possibilities for blockchain applications. And here we start to see a little bit more of a 
you know, in-depth view on what's actually going to be happening through this. Really kind of just innovating beyond the means of what we typically have. It's going to enhance efficiency and things like that around development. We also do see empowering developers as well, really going to uh, give them all the resources that they really need in order to build um, and expand the network use cases. We also do see expanding possibilities, which is, like I said, exactly what I was talking about, um, because now we have harnessing of the XDC network capabilities, which is extremely incredible security, scalability, and swiftness. Um, beyond this, we do see strengthening the XDC network. Anchor's partnership with the XDC Foundation bolsters the worldwide XDC network ecosystem, streamlining development procedures, and broadening the scope of distributed node infrastructure. Anchor plays a pivotal role in enhancing the network's expansion and influence. We do see simplifying blockchain development as well. Again, all of this is really kind of catered to what we are seeing around the future of this space, meaning you know, real world asset tokenization, use cases around trade finance, and so many other great industries as well. Um, again, I love to see collaboration like this. And we also do see a few quotes down here. Anchor is excited to begin the partnership with XDC Network to power developers focused on the important trend of asset tokenization. As the finance industry continues its integration with blockchain technology, enterprises and projects will find an easy way to explore the possibilities of XDC with a fast and reliable RPC connection to the chain. And we also do see another one here. So Anchor serves as a comprehensive Web3 developer hub, offering a complete toolbox for crafting Web3 applications and empowering them with high performance connectivity to over 40 blockchains. Its offering encompasses versatile multi-chain dApp development tools, blockchain engineering services, crypto staking solutions, and a globally dispersed node infrastructure collectively laying the foundation for these endeavors. So again, really just kind of building upon the overall view that I have of this space, which is a multi-chain future. And this is really going to harness all of the um, all of the potential around some of these networks, like XDC Network, for example, which I think that this is incredible. And last but not least, of course, I do want to mention MLATR. So shout out to Marina for this, because again, what what would this video be without talking about trade finance a little bit more? So MLATR UK Singapore pushing ahead to help digitize or digitalize uh, trade. And here we have a few things regarding this. So it was a fantastic to have the IMDA team in London last week for a round of meetings with the Department for Business and Trade, HM Revenue and Customs World Trade Organization, the Commonwealth UK Chamber of Shipping, Law Commission of England and Wales banks and industry leaders. It was a chance to identify barriers to scaling up trade digitalization and explore the future of public utility architecture for trade. Five takeaways from the week. English, Singapore, and U.S. laws are all now aligned to MLATR, enabling commercial trade documents to be handled in digital form across the majority of the international trade transactions, including 80% of bills of lading and 60% of global trade finance, shipping, commodities, and marine insurance. That doesn't mean we don't need all governments to reform laws, but it does mean that most trade transactions can be fully paperless. IGP and I, club interim uh, guidance for the use of e-bills of lading is now critical to enabling the scale-up of trade digitalization efforts across global supply chains. The opportunity for ship owners and insurers is to reduce fraud and security risk, i.e. less paper equals less risk and disruption to shipments, and ultimately an increase in trade flow. Intensifying engagement and support for cargo owners, corporates must now be a central priority to digitalizing global supply chains. This includes engaging an array of different teams within corporates with clear business cases, treasuries, procurement, strategy, and customs. Public utility architecture is critical to helping open up the market and enabling more companies to digitalize transactions and benefit from cheaper, faster, simpler trade, as well as more technology solutions to enter the market, public law, open interoperable systems, open source code, and reliable systems frameworks. The This also includes the uh, coexistence of public and private contract law solutions, all offering greater choice to buyers and sellers of uh, goods. And this is more so talking about the private and public collaboration within the space to really kind of usher in digital trade into the future. And also remember that during all of this, as we really kind of look at what recently happened with the electronic trade documents bill and Zinfin, Zinfin was at the forefront of that with, of course, the ITFA and the DSI initiative. Those are crucial ones to mention considering the fact that they are all working to together on a collaborative manner in order to have trade finance really kind of ushered in to the digital age. And we also see we are no longer talking about digital trade transactions. It's happening. There are already a plethora of use cases covering different sectors, large and small companies and different jurisdictions, including examples of companies already scaling solutions across the whole business. And again, 
all of this is happening at a very very fast pace again digital trade is becoming a reality and i do think that it's time for us to really kind of focus on this because zinfin is at the forefront of this and it's and as we do see from october 12th uh seems as though they are really kind of heavily focused on trade finance and really kind of simplifying um the gateway to trade finance digitalization through the xdc network which we all know that they have been heavily focused on since day one so very exciting listen as we really kind of look at the the overall ecosystem we are seeing a lot of big moves here i think that's very exciting um as an xdc holder i think everyone should be really kind of looking into DeFi on zinfin as a massive step in the right direction because DeFi truly does provide a ton of value for the network. It also locks up a ton of value as well. Locks up a lot of tokens as well in terms of APY uh, generation and passive income opportunities. So I think that this is incredible. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, though. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on if there's more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.